Thank you, Laura. I want to get to some breaking news right now. The Vance County deputy seen on a video slamming a student to the floor will face misdemeanor charges. CBS 17's Jimmy Surprise joins us live from Vance County now where the district attorney just made the announcement moments ago. Jimmy. Felicia, the grandfather of that 11-year-old student, he spoke directly after the district attorney, and he said that he's disappointed, he's frustrated. This is definitely not the outcome this family had hoped for. They wanted stiffer penalties. They wanted a felony charge. Instead, that former deputy who was named by the district attorney as Warren Durham, he will face several misdemeanor charges, including assault of a child under 12 and child abuse. The maximum penalty for this, 120 days in jail. This all comes after a video showed a deputy slamming a child to the ground twice and dragging him inside Vance County Middle School last week. The district attorney Mike Waters said Durham cannot be charged with a felony because the student didn't suffer serious bodily injuries as described by the law, a law that grandfather once changed. Right now, if it don't be changed, the school resource also going to think they can go to school, attack another child, and get a misdemeanor charge. Because that's what's going to happen. I think the DA said that this guy, uh, we're discussing our meeting this morning, that this guy will never, ever uh, be in law enforcement again. So I'm grateful for that right there, that he'll never, ever wear another badge and be to attack another child. That deputy was fired on Monday. State Bureau of Investigations will seek a warrant for that former deputy's arrest. Meanwhile, that family has legal representation. Live in Vance County, Jimmy's Price, CBS 17 News.